You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. Good morning, you guys. BCB here with Atari Newsline. Whole lot of news to go over in this uh, episode of Atari Newsline. Like five news stories that have dropped in the past couple of days. Get your Java. And Ends Reach comes out today, too. Stay tuned for all the latest. Welcome back, guys. BCB here, your host. So as I said, there were a lot of news stories today. I was at work all day, and I saw story after story come out, and I was like, here we go. The Atari train's coming again. So let's go ahead and go over these stories. I tweeted about a lot of these on my Twitter, too. So the first one, obviously, is Ends Reach comes out today by uh, Curious Entertainment. And um, I spoke to Christian with Curious Entertainment. That's actually coming up today at 10 a.m. Mountain Time maybe right after this. Um, so we kind of coincided that with this game coming out, which is cool. Um, he reached out to me in my chat recently and we set it up and really cool guy. And I can't wait for you to see that interview. It's really neat. And what a great game. Um, so I, I can't wait for everyone to check it out, including myself. I will be doing a no filter probably tonight about that as well. Uh, so it's going to be it's going to be a three show day for me, probably. Um, so uh, but I'm excited about it as well. So just kind of I want to kind of go down my Twitter with you. Um, really cool stuff that's been happening. So Atari is actually doing a giveaway for Mr. Run and Jump. They're giving away 10 copies of Mr. Run and Jump this week. They say you have seven days to complete a list of challenges and run your way to victory. And if you click this link, it basically talks about the game. There are different ways that you can enter um, on Twitter. It also has you linked to your Facebook and other things, um, Instagram maybe, to get more entries. So that's for a digital copy of your choosing for, I think, any of the systems it's on. So check that out. It is a $23 game, so um, I think that's a, that's a cool uh, contest for sure. I already own it. It's a cool game. I've had some controller issues with the Atari controller. One of my friends said to use the Xbox controller to get past that, and it works great. So um, I guess that's a temporary workaround, but um, definitely cool game. Check it out. Also, check out my gameplay I did for it recently, too. So um, more news today. So Orange Pascal, uh, who um, is with uh, Orange Pixel, uh, had a video out called Fighting the Atari VCS. And one of my friends told me this. Uh, Robert said, was just watching Orange Pixel's vlog on YouTube. He mentioned that he has Snake Core and Stardash ready for the Atari VCS. That is awesome. So definitely go check out Orange Pascal's video. Um, I'll put the information down below. Really cool news. So we have confirmation of a couple more games that might be coming to the VCS as well. So looking down my Twitter, also Atari announced uh, on, uh, yesterday, July 27th, um, they are now selling two of the arcade one-up cabs that I actually have in my collection. These are Atari Legacy cabs. So they, um, it says here, whether you pick Centipede or Tempest, there's lots to love in these arcade cabinets. Each include 10 plus classic Atari games and a beautiful conver um, conversation starting console. Want to see which games are included? 
and I actually have both of these cabs, as I said. I did a review of the Centipede Atari Legacy cab, which is probably my favorite of the two. Definitely check it out below. It's a whole review I did of the cab, all the games included. So if you click on the link on the Twitter um, entry I'm looking at here, if you click on the Centipede cab, it's $499.99 on the Atari website, which is which is exactly what I paid. And if you get the discount for placing your initial order, I think you get um, ten percent off or something. So it says here, um, product details. Let me go and tell you what games are on here. It's got Centipede, Millipede, Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Major Havoc, Missile Command, Aka R, Crystal Castles, Tempest, Gravatar, Liberator, Space Duel, Super Breakout, Lunar Lander. And um, I freaking love it. Now, um, this has Wi-Fi leaderboards as well and arcade controls. These are the arcade ports. Tari says the ships in one to two business days. And this is a great cab, you guys. Um, I The screen is a little washed out just because they switched to these screens. RK1UP did. Other than that, I think it's a great cab. Um, it's not too washed out. It's just a little bright, if you know what I mean. So, but the, God, the controls on it are great. I love being able to play Crystal Castles on it and all the other games. So also they have the Arcade 1UP Tempest Legacy Arcade Machine for $449.99. This one's also cool. Um, this is as a spinner to play Tempest on, which is great. So it says here on the features, this RK 1UP RK machine allows players to switch between 12 classic Atari titles, including Asteroids, Centipede, Major Havoc, Missile Command, Aka R, Crystal Castles, Tempest, Millipede, Gravatar, Liberator, Asteroids Deluxe, and Space Duel. Now these do have a lot of the same games on it, but the other one, I think the Centipede has a few extras. I think the Centipede cab is the one I would go for if you were going to choose. They're both great though. The art on these is also great. The Centipede cab has a lot up coin door whereas the tempest one i think is a sticker so just fyi there's more detail on the centipede cab which is why i think that one is uh, it's like 50 dollars more definitely worth it so also atari uh tweeted out another news story they said we have a few games coming from our friend muddy vision more details to come soon and this is an indie game developer um and there's a cool picture here of a game and um, I'm sure that my friend uh, Retro Bliss Gaming would know exactly what this was. So I wanted to tell you, I went on the Muddy Vision uh, Facebook page. And, and they, it says here, February 27th, they, uh, it, says Bean, it says Bernie and the Tower of Doom placed first in the best WIP homebrew original category for the Atari 7800. I wonder if this is actually one of the games coming. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing here, guys. But they won best homebrew port and best homebrew original game which is awesome um and it looks like the guy's name is lewis and uh it looks like he works kind of closely with zero page homebrew um as well um so um and zero page homebrew i wanted to say it says here live interviews with atari and hb game developers about 2600 and 7800 homebrew on the atari vcs uh, it says uh, Friday, July 28th today, um, live at 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. GMT. And uh, it says here, live interviews with Atari, David Page, who is DAPA. He's with Atari VCS Marketing and Development. And Bob DeCrescenzo, uh, who is Atari 7800 developer. I interviewed him last December on that Atari show. Go check it out. He is a fantastic uh, dev. I actually commented here. Um, as well so definitely check out that um, zero page homebrew um, uh, interview today I'll put the link down below so just want to check my Twitter here and make sure I got all these stories there's so much going on you guys in the world of Atari um, now it says here on Twitter um, also on zero page homebrew it says um, they're also going to be interviewing Dion Osthorn it looks like now, I'm not sure if he can make it. I saw a comment saying he might not, but he was a developer of Amoeba Jump and Tower of Rubble. That's pretty neat. It says, your questions answered by Atari and Dianoid about the future of homebrew on the Atari VCS console. So that's pretty neat. Um, I also, of course, interview devs um, on that Atari show um, almost every week. So make sure to check out all my interviews of devs and content creators. I like to give them... Um, as much time as I can. Um, of course, it's easier to, to interview content creators. They're they're more readily available than these busy dubs. But I love them all. Um, so really cool stuff happening. 
So lots of great stuff. I also wanted to mention whenever I was playing Mr. Run and Jump, my Atari modern controller was giving me issues. Other people have had this too. You may have seen that in my gameplay video for No Filter HD. And, and as I said earlier, one of my friends said just to use an Xbox controller to bypass that. Hopefully Atari fixes that soon. I did reach out to them on Discord to let them know. So lots of great Atari stuff going on, you guys. And there's more stories coming in every day, I feel like. Let me know down below what you think. It's a great time to be a VCS fan. All kinds of good stuff happening. Um, I'm so excited about it. Um, and uh, definitely watch my interview today with Christian with uh, Curious Entertainment. Uh, he's the dev for, um, for the awesome game coming out today, Ends Reach, on the Atari VCS. I think it's going to be about 15 bucks. Definitely go get it. It looks great. And support an indie dev. Okay, he's a great guy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Get your Java. Be a good person. And what? Go play some freaking Atari. We'll see you guys later. Bye now. You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy.